Hey guys, it's going and welcome to a brand new video. This camera thing is because I thought it'd be viewer like connect with the view. Does it work? I don't know. But today, guys, I want to talk about some gameplay features in Assassin's Creed Empire. Not specifically things that are gonna be in the game, or just some things that I think should be in the game. What we got from that leak on 4chan a while ago, but I wanted to delve into it, give you guys my thoughts, give you guys some ideas. We can really get ourselves hyped, and I want you guys to leave gameplay features you want to see in Assassin's Creed Empire down in the comment section below. But without further ado, we'll get into it. For cheap new games, be sure to hit that G2A link in the description and go and check it out. So guys, if you don't already know, on 4chan a couple of months ago, we got a leak about Assassin's Creed Empire. I've got a video on that, which I'll link on the screen and in the description if you guys don't know about it and you want to get clued up. But essentially, we've got gameplay features telling us we'd get more horse gameplay, brand new freeform combat system similar to The Witcher 3, and also we would have boat gameplay returning, whether that means naval combat or whether it means boats is yet to be seen, but I feel like it means boats. So I want to delve into it and give you guys some of my ideas because I think there's a lot of things they could do with these gameplay features and it would work so well in so many ways, but I wanted to give you guys an idea of what I kind of thought would work the best. So with the combat, it's very, very similar to The Witcher 3 according to the article, and that is a freeform combat system. Now what this means is you don't have to lock on, get into combat, you can kind of, everything is way more seamless, quote unquote. It allows you to seamlessly go between combat, between free running, between whatever you're doing, and it makes everything a lot more easier and free flowing. That's why it's called free-flowing combat. But if you've ever played The Witcher 3, then you'll know exactly what I mean. A lot of games do utilize this, and I think for Assassin's Creed, it's something that would improve the combat system definitely tremendously moving forwards. I'm not sure what the combat system will be like completely, whether we'll have a complete Witcher system combat, or whether it will just take free-flow combat, free-form combat, free-fuck combat, or whether we'll get like an, an entirely new overhaul to the combat, which will be specific to Assassin's Creed Empire. Who knows? Personally, I'd like to see different combat from Syndicate Unity. Maybe go back to the Anvil next and your style of combat, or maybe just go forwards from there in improving the combat. Making it challenging, not, not making it mean you need to do like a 12 hit combo to kill someone, because I don't know if you've noticed, but in Assassin's Creed 3 and 4, if you don't spam the attack button, you don't kill them. Like, if you tap it once, wait a second, tap it again, he'll do the same attack over and over again. And it's like, to kill someone, it doesn't take damage, it takes the animation of the combo to complete for you to kill someone, rather than it being like, if you hit them four times, they're dead. It's like, you can hit them a million times, and they won't die. You just have to finish the combo string, and it's annoying. That That's not how the combat should be working. They should have a health bar, and there should be a health system. And I think that's somewhere where they're going with the Assassin's Creed Empire, by making it closer, kind of like I said, like a witch-style combat, but a lot kind of like an RPG system where you have your health, the enemy has their health, and you have to do a certain amount of hits to kill them. The other thing is horses are going to be returning in Empire, according to the leak. Now, I hope, personally, this means we get an extremely large, expansive map. And what I'm thinking for the map is that it would be similar to Assassin's Creed 1. However, no loading screens. So if you've played, I keep going back to this, but The Witcher 3, right? So you have this entire map, and there's no loading screens, apart from when you change region, right? But... The entire land of Velen, which is the main kind of starting first area place you go, other than White White Orchard, it's like the second place, but it's like the main place, because White Orchard is like the tutorial place, but it's this huge expanse of land with tons of villages and towns and army barracks and castles and ruins and dungeons and also massive cities incorporate into the open world. So rather than having the cities be a separate part and have the open world be a separate part like we had with Assassin's Creed 4 and with AC1, that's not something that I think we should have in Assassin's Creed Empire. Moving forwards, I think we need to have this huge expanse of land being similar to the kingdom in Assassin's Creed 1 with the various cities incorporated inside of this open world. So you can freely leave the city and travel to another city, and it feels way more realistic, immersive, like this huge open world that you are exploring as your character in Assassin's Creed Empire, doing a different assassination contracts, doing different side quests, exploring these different characters, these little areas, these settlements, getting involved in quests that are completely not part of the main story, but you feel you want to get involved because it's more immersive, it's more fun having these different side quests. You don't need to be tied down to assassination contracts, races, beat up events, 
these these historical stories what we want is an open world with an assassin's creed story in it that has a ton of side content that might not necessarily be related to the assassin story so you're in this open world you are riding through a village on your horse to get to your next main quest mission and you come across a woman that needs your help she asks you you know my sons have gone missing could you go and look for them for me and instead of going straight to your next mission you say you'll help her in return for some money or something that she might want to give you or a reward and you say yes you'll accept the mission that means like then you'll go through this other path you'll look through the world you'll try and find her son maybe he's been kidnapped maybe he's been killed and then you'll you'll sort that quest out and then you'll come back you'll tell her you get your reward then you move on in the open world and i think that's something assassin's creed needs more of because having this huge open world in an historical time period needs more involvement with the real world and the real people from that time era rather than it just being you have set missions in this open world because it feels very structured and linear rather than you are free to do whatever you want it needs to be more systemic the side quests need to feel like they're part of the world rather than you're going to do a specific side quest like i don't want to just go to a pigeon coop to do an assassination i want to be able to go through the world and things happen just find a quest you talk to a person you get that quest you complete the quest rather than just going through the world and being like oh look here's a pigeon coop i'll get an assassination contract oh look here's someone giving me a race mission i want all the missions to be different it's very similar to the paris stories but they're more so towards the rpg games like skyrim fallout the witcher games and that doesn't mean i want assassin's creed to become an rpg I just want more role-playing elements involved in Assassin's Creed to make it more immersive and fun for the players. So if you want to go to a tavern in the open world, have a drink, play some like get games, socialize with the people in that town, get to know the world, you can do that in the game. And I think that's something that would make the time periods, the cities, the locations of Assassin's Creed that bit more immersive and that bit more fun to play in. As for the boats in Assassin's Creed Empire, now I personally think these are naval ships like from AC3 and 4, but that they are boats like from Assassin's Creed 2, like the gondolas or like canoes from Assassin's Creed Liberation. Now, obviously, these are just methods of transport, so that means there will be water areas in the map, like rivers and things like that, possibly the River Nile, considering we are in Egypt. And that makes perfect sense. Like, I'm completely okay with that. Add more features, that's a good thing. So that's something that I'm looking forward to, because I don't think we're going to get naval combat back. I don't think that's a thing. Possibly we could get massive ships. Who knows? We could do, and I'm all down for that as long as the game isn't centered around it. Like, if they happen to include these ships as a completely optional feature to travel from one place to another, that's crazy, that's insane, that's a good thing to have in the game. But don't have a game centered around the naval combat, and I'm fine having the naval feature in there as long as you never have to use it if you don't want to. But obviously I will use it because it's a cool thing to have as an optional feature, and I think a lot of you guys will probably agree with me there. Because having the having the boats as a method of transport as an optional feature makes them that bit cooler to use because they're optional. Touching back on the open world, I just want to talk about how the economic system could work in the game. So personally, I want it to work ooh, very similar to the older Assassin's Creed games. However, I keep I keep using this, but very similar to The Witcher. So when you go around, you do these quests, you gain money for these quests and things like that. Like I don't want you to randomly get money out of nowhere. I want there to be a reason for you gaining the money. So like. I remember a lot in Assassin's Creed 2 and the Ezio Trilogy, you'd complete a mission and for no reason you'd get like 2,000 florins. And it's like, well, I didn't, no one gave me that money, it just appeared out of nowhere. It's like a reward to the player rather than a reward to the character. So it doesn't make, it, it breaks the immersion. So, so like, and when you'd complete like a race against a thief or something, for some reason you get like 500 florins and it's like, that's, that doesn't make any sense. Whereas in games like The Witcher and Skyrim and stuff like that, there's always someone supplying the money, supplying the different rewards that are always different. Like, like in The Witcher 3, someone would be like, oh, there's a, you know, this monster that's like terrorizing the town. Could you go kill it? I'll pay you this much money. Then you get that much money for completing the quest. Sometimes you do a mission because it's just for the main character. So say you're doing one of the missions that is for the Brotherhood, you're not going to get money for that because that doesn't make any sense to get rewarded for, with money for doing your job as an assassin. So that's something that I think they need to do with the game is make things feel more systemic and realistic. That's kind of the way I'm the way I'm thinking they'll go with Assassin's Creed Empire by having like the things that they've said in this leak and things that I've wanted for an extremely long time. And I think some of you guys will definitely agree with me. Some of you are going to be like, fuck you, James, you fucking idiot. You're completely wrong. Kill yourself. But that's what I think. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to smack that like button because that'd be absolutely amazing. Comment down in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys thought about any of the points I raised and be sure to share this video to other people that might care about Assassin's Creed because 
I'm really desperate for those subscribers because they mean a lot to me. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next video. Be sure to stay tuned, and I'll see you then. Bye! Leaping from my places, rivers are flowing red. Now we're defying, now, now we're uniting. Go watching from the skies, uh, these streets are burning. Uh, they're starting fire here, uh, I'm gone.